Hello guys and welcome back. So now in this video we're gonna work on our villain AI script to write the first feature which we will be adding for the granny is that for example if the player drops something right here in the basement okay for example the shotgun or the key then what we're gonna do we're gonna give this location to the granny so the granny will walk from her room towards that location all right and then we will make the granny wait right here for 10 seconds and then we will make the granny re return to the start position all right and later on we will be adding other future uh, features for example if the granny uh, gets down to the basement and if the granny founds the player in here then the granny will try to attack the player all right but for now we are just adding the functionality in which the granny will be able to hear sounds in the house and move toward that sound location so for that open up the villain ai script and right here we're going to remove the start and update method and at the top create a private vector 3 by the name of sound location all right then create a bool which will be public by the name of is returning set it to false by default then after this create a private bool by the name of is chasing set it to false then another private bool by the name of is attacking and then another bool by the name of is waiting set this to false as well after this let's make a method in which the granny will move to the sound location all right so name this as move to sound location all right now in order to move the granny to the sound location we will use the nav mesh agent because as you know that on granny we added the nav mesh agent so for that first of all right here at the top make a reference actually we can make this private or we can just type nav mesh agent and name this as nav mesh agent as well then in the start method let's set its reference so we're gonna say nav mesh agent equals to get component and get the nav mesh agent from the granny that's it and as you know that the granny will move to the sound location so for that we need a moving speed as well so right here at the top let's create a public float by the name of move speed and move speed will be by default set to 3.5 for example and then in the start we will say nav mesh agent dot speed equals to the move speed all right so in this way the granny can now move at according to the move speed now in order to move the granny to the sound location what we're gonna do we're gonna use the nav mesh agent dot set destination method so set destination and the destination will be the sound location all right this is the vector 3 which we created at the top right here so when it moves to the sound location then what we want to do we want the granny to first of all stop at the sound location and wait for 10 seconds all right how are we gonna do that first of all let's check if the granny approaches the sound location so we will uh, say that if the granny position and the sound location is less than or equals to the nav mesh agent dot stopping distance all right so if 
this is the case then it means the granny now should wait there because the granny reaches the sound location and the granny should wait for 10 seconds and after that we will return the granny back to the start so before returning the granny as i told you we will make the granny wait so in order to make the granny wait we will create a enumerator type method right here name this as wait before returning all right and right here we will set the is waiting to true because now yes the granny is waiting and the granny should wait for 10 seconds so we will say yield return new wait for seconds and that will be 10 after that the granny will move back to the start location so is waiting will be false and is returning will be true because now yes the granny is returning to the start location all right for now we didn't type any code in which we make the granny move to the start location for now we are just making the granny wait all right so right here when the granny reaches the sound location we want the granny to wait so we're going to call this method now in here so we will stay start coroutine and in here call this method that is it now in order to move the granny back to the start location for that create a method right here by the name of return to start all right and in this we're gonna set first of all the nav mesh agent destination so this time the destination should not be sound location it should be the start location or you can say the start position so for the start position what we're gonna do we're gonna create a reference to it so uh, right here I'm gonna say public transform start position or you can name this as start location if you want and then right here we're gonna say start position dot position all right and don't worry we're gonna add a start position to our granny because we created a reference right here okay so the granny will start moving towards that location and then what we want that if the granny reaches the start position then we want the granny to stop and we need to set this is returning to false because the granny is returned all right so in order to do that we're going to do the same thing as we did right here so i'm going to just copy that if condition and paste it right here all right and right here we're going to say that if the granny position and the start position is less than or equals to the nav mesh agent dot stopping distance then it means the granny has reached the start point so set the is returning to false all right and now as you know that when we wait for 10 seconds then after that we want this return to start happen and as you know that after 10 seconds we set this is returning to true so now we're gonna say in the update method right here that when the is returning is true then return the granny to the start Alright, so just simply call that method right here. Now, you guys will be thinking that we did all of this, but how the granny will detect the sound? If I show you a script, for example, this player pickup script right here, as you can see, when we drop something, we play a sound, and then right here, we left a comment for ourselves to let the gr uh, granny know that a sound has been created inside the house all right so how we gonna tell the granny for that on the villain ai let me close this word blank and click on villain ai and right here after the update let's make one more method all right and using this method we're gonna let the granny know that a sound has been heard so create a, a method by the name of on sound heard this will require a vector 3 by the name of location 
all right and we are gonna first of all check that if the granny is dead then don't do anything just simply return because of course when the granny uh, has died we don't want the granny to move to the sound locations all right for now we don't have the is dead bull so let's create that right here we're gonna say private pool is dead set it to false by default all right so now right here we're gonna say that the sound location should be this location and we will pass a value to this location from our player pickup script all right and in that way the granny will know the location so when we pass the location the granny will start walking towards that location so we need to set the is returning to false and the is chasing to false as well the is attacking as well because when the granny is moving towards some location we don't want this to be true also the is waiting will be false as well and after this we will call the method which is move to sound location Okay, and as you know in this method is called the granny will start moving to the sound location since we pass a value to the sound location all right now we have a location right here so let's pass a value to this so that that value is then passed to the sound location so how are we gonna do that remember this method name it is on sound heard so click on player pick up right here what we gonna do is we gonna say granny ai then name this as granny ai as well this will be equals to find object of type all right and object of type should be the granny ai and then we're gonna check if the granny ai script is not null so if it is not null then we will say granny ai dot on sound heard is the method name and as you know it uh, requires a parameter which is vector 3 location so to this vector 3 location we're gonna pass the transform dot position alright so we pass the position or you can say the location to this and now the granny will walk towards that location and on the player pickup script as you know that we name this as granny AI since our script name is villain AI and the class name is villain AI as well so make sure it is villain AI right here alright and in here as well and if you want you can leave the name of this as granny AI but if you want you can change it to villain ai as well all right because in my previous script i named this as granny ai so just change it to villain ai in order to avoid any errors since this is villain ai right so if you save the script and get back right here as you can see here is our villain ai script we need to add the start position to it all right here is the granny so what i'm gonna do is in the granny i'm gonna create an empty game object name it as start position all right then move it outside the cranny then click on cranny and drag and drop this all right and move the start position inside the environment that is it okay and this move speed is 3.5 you can make this according to your own liking but I'm gonna leave this as 3.5 and you will notice that when the game starts this speed will be equals to 3.5 as well for example if we set it to 0 right now and play the game you will notice that when the game starts it will set to 3.5 as you can see and now let's pick up the shotgun and let's drop it right here for example so we're gonna drop it and now you will notice the granny will walk towards this location as you can see the granny is right here the granny now gonna wait here for 10 seconds
So let's see if the cranny returns after 10 seconds or not. Okay, I stopped the game, but if you notice, the is returning set to true and the cranny start return to the location as you can see. But if you notice, the is returning is not setting to false. Alright, let's go down and pick this up drop it again as you can see it's set to false again and the cranny is walking towards that location all right and then after 10 seconds the cranny will move to the start location back again as you can see all right so now with this done, let's end this video right here and in the next video we're going to continue our work on the cranny.